morning everybody welcome to another round of coffee and questions what's today's topic we're going to change out the bushings on the leaf springs on that easy go golf cart now i put this off up until now because uh i don't really don't have a helper or anybody to help me but i thought well i have my harbor freight daytona jack and i have a bottle jack and i probably can between the two manage to do it so I'm going to show you a still picture here in just a sec, and then we're going to go right over to kind of like the hands-on of what I did. A couple of problems I ran into, but I figured out some kind of easy, easier solutions that I'll share with you. So why don't we go ahead, let's get started. Let me show you the still picture, then we'll pan around. Let's get right after it. All right, everybody, so what we're going to do I used a floor jack to jack it up and then I put a couple of jack stands under there. I got a bottle jack here in case I need to manipulate that leaf spring up or down. And I went ahead and I took out the bolts that's holding the shackle part of this together. I'll show you here in just a sec. So right here, this is where this thing mounted like this. So I took the bolts out and I had to shoot some type of powerful rust corrosion kind of fluid all over it because it was frozen. And then I managed to get the bolts off on both sides, have a non-resilient hammer, I didn't want to mess up the threads, and I started tapping the bolt back out the back side. That's where the bolts here came from. So got it off. That's the good news. Now when I got them off, there are sleeves in there. Let me show you. This is a damaged one right here. So they were frozen in there, so what I had to do is I put a bunch of PB blaster kind of material in there, let it soak for a while. Then I turned around and I got a flat nose punch. I put it up in here and I hit it with a hammer. And I eventually got them out. Now the other one, it came out in pieces. They're just totally shot and corroded. So now that I'm done with that, you still got a lot of corrosion build up in this hole and I want to get it a little bit smoother. So. Give me just a sec, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So what I'm doing now is with this can of PB Blaster kind of stuff, I'm soaking the insides of these holes. And I'm just going to run a shop towel through it. Let's see what we get out of it. And I got the bottom one fairly cleaned out. Let's put it in through the top one. The top one actually, for whatever reason, kind of the worst. Yeah, this has got a lot of stuff in there. I'm going to try to punch it through here. And out comes a ton of rust and corrosion. And then I can feel in here, there's still some of that sleeve that's stuck in there. So I'm going to use this punch. I'm not sure if we got it all out, but I got one of these old uh, cheapy Harbor Freight half round files. I'm going to see what we can get out of this. And actually the file works pretty good for this size hole. Now I can feel in there. I still feel a little bit of corrosion. I'm going to file it for a few more seconds here. Let's get it smooth. The kits that you buy they come, they have a sleeve, which is right here, and then they have the rubber bushing, which is right here. So you get a big packet of them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lube up this rubber bushing, just to try to make it a little easier maybe in putting this whole thing back together. So give me just a sec, I'll get some oil. Okay, there's the bushing. Just gonna put a little bit of oil on here. Let's see if we can get this back up on here. I 
right, that's one side. There's the other side. Okay, so what I did is I took these bolts over to my wire wheel and cleaned them up. I'll put a little oil on them and this should make them go back on a little bit easier. So back down here we go to where we put the bushings in and the sleeve. See if we can get the plates back on without a big problem. All right, here's the first plate. And we'll put the bolt in. All right, so we got the second side up. And we'll see if we get this bolt started. I'm not going to tighten it down right now, just getting it on there. Now, this is going to be a little bit lower than here. Now, if I have a helper, I could have pushed up on this, but I don't. So I have a bottle jack, and that's going to help me, I hope. We're going to find out. It's an old bottle jack, but it works. I got the new sleeve right here. We'll put that in. This one actually pushed in pretty good, and then I'll put it in through here. Now I'm going to put the other side on. I put some oil on it. And I'll start it here. This one I can actually pinch together with my fingers, unlike that top one. So, okay, now let's put the bolt in. And you see it still doesn't line up, but I got my bottle jack, my helper here, my third hand. Uh, okay, so uh, I greased up or oiled up these bushings and this sleeve, and they just pressed right in there. Um, a lot of times you can have difficulty getting the sleeve through another rubber part of the bushing and you know you, you get real frustrated what i find is if i clean the inside of this housing real well with that harbor freight file and i threw some oil in there and mushed it all around and then i oiled the bushings on the outside and the inside and then i put some on that sleeve they just went right together then with my helper i got the jack my bottle jack up and I did put some oil on the bolt. Okay, then I, I went ahead and I put the nut on and tightened it up. And now with this one up here, we can go ahead and we can really start, you know, tightening these down and then I'll move over to the other side. So I'll be with you in a minute. Okay, so now we're over to the other side and I took off the bolts, the plates and everything like we did before. Got my harbor spray file. These are not bad, but take a look at what happened with these when I pulled them out. These are the old bushings. One was like destroyed, the other came out in two halves, but they came out fairly easily, which is the good news. So I'm just going to file these. They don't seem to be bad when I'm filing them, I can kind of feel. These aren't bad at all. Shoot some de-rusting. It's kind of like I said, it's like a PB blaster. I just shoot it up in there. happen to have some grease laying around or you can take it out of your grease gun. I used oil on the other side but I had this out so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put some grease up in through here, both upper and lower. Alright, there we go. And again, if you want to use oil, put some oil on these, put some, and again, if you want to use oil, use oil, but put some kind of lubricant on these bushings. It's just going to make them go on that much easier, to be truthful, because 
when they're dry, they might stick a little bit more than you want them to, but this way everything just kind of glides in there nice and easy. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put the sleeve into this one first, and just push it on by hand. Okay, now, again, I took the bolts over to the wire wheel, I cleaned them up just to make everything a little bit easier. And if you want to, you can also just go ahead and put some oil or grease on there before you start. Hey, you can hear the wind kicking up. I'm going to put it through the bracket. Okay, put the bolt through the bracket. And I'm going to go ahead. Here's the one that we put with the sleeve. So I'm going to put it up right here. Line it up. Slip it through, just like that. And we'll put the bush in here on the other side. And you'll see you'll start to get some threads. So I just push it in by hand until you're able to get the bracket over it. In this case, I can just barely get the bracket over and that may be enough. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Now, I barely got that on there, but I can start to tighten it and it will suck this bushing into there. So, let's see, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now I don't have it tightened down all the way. I still got a ways to go. But we're going to go ahead and get the bottom all lined up and ready here while we got some. All right, there's the bushing. Grease that up too. Okay, same procedure. Put the sleeve into the bushing. All right, so we'll push these out of the way. Let's take uh, our first bushing sleeve grease thing and we're going to just slide it right on in there and then we're going to put the other bushing up onto the other side and it just slips right in there like a champ i love that now we'll put the bolt through it now this is way off of where it needs to be so my buddy here bounce here off of those jack stems. Okay, got it on. Put this on. Now we got to do is just tighten everything up and you're done. Okay everybody, so now we worry about the front part and you're going to do the exact same thing and I use that Harbor Freight Daytona jack, I mean to help me jack the frame up and I had the bottle jack which helped me kind of get it aligned, you know, so I could slip the bolt through the holes. But you can see from these still photographs, it's the same procedure. All right, everybody, so you can see, here's a still photo now of the completed project. And uh, I had some difficulties. Like I said, I didn't have a helper, but by manipulating the jacks around and so forth, I was able to get it completed on my own. So stay tuned, we will do more projects. I'm gonna do the front part of the leaf spring in the next video, and then we're gonna do the stereo completion, and we're pretty much gonna be done with the project at that point. Anyway, don't forget to click subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I hope you keep following me. Thank you, folks, I'll see you again soon, bye-bye.